August 2nd, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Galatians, Chapter 6, from the New Testament. Brothers and sisters, if a person is discovered in some sin, you who are spiritual restore such a person in a spirit of gentleness. Pay close attention to yourselves so that you are not tempted to carry one another's burdens and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Let each one examine his own work, then he can take pride in himself and not compare himself with someone else. For each one will carry his own load. Now the one who receives instruction in the word must share all good things with the one who teaches it. Do not be deceived. God will not be made a fool, for a person will reap what he sows because the person who sows to his own flesh will reap corruption from the flesh, but the one who sows to the Spirit will reap eternal life from the Spirit. So we must not grow weary in doing good, for in due time we will reap if we do not give up. So then, whenever we have an opportunity, let us do good to all people, and especially to those who belong to the family of faith. See what big letters I make as I write to you with my own hand? Those who want to make a good showing in external matters are trying to force you to be circumcised. They do so only to avoid being persecuted for the cross of Christ. For those who are circumcised do not obey the law themselves, but they want you to be circumcised so that they can boast about your flesh. But may I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world. For neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything. The only thing that matters is a new creation. And all who will behave in accordance with this rule, peace and mercy be on them and on the Israel of God. From now on, let no one cause me trouble, for I bear the marks of Jesus on my body. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, brothers and sisters. Amen. God, in, in reading this, verse 7 just struck my heart so much. Do not be deceived. God will not be made a fool. For a person will reap what he sows, because the person who sows to his own flesh will reap corruption from the flesh. And God, for, for as long as I can remember, <laughs> that's what I did. I chose my own sinful desires. I knew you existed. I believed in you. But I didn't want anything to do with participating in a relationship with you in the slightest. The world was much more enticing to me. The choices of my flesh, what we read in Galatians yesterday... The choices of my flesh seemed way more important than following your word. And then you chose to change my heart and put a stop to all the things I was doing. And here I sit today where I still mess up every single day. I'm still a sinful person. But pursuing the life that I had before and the choices of sins and thinking of my own world, my own kingdom instead of yours is definitely a thing in the past. I have a new heart. I am a new creation. And it's only because of you, your grace, your forgiveness. But I still see there's times when my heart doesn't want to do that it still wants to choose the flesh part it still wants what it wants because I am human and I live in a worldly world and I still have those those days where I don't call on the strength that you've offered me to get me through some of those choices and, and I make bad choices and again your grace and forgiveness comes into my life and saves me but God I've got people really close to me who aren't doing that. They're choosing the flesh. They're choosing to walk in their own selfish desires over choosing you. 
And I know how hard it was to tear myself away from the world. It was the most amazing thing that ever happened to me to become your child. But I remember how alluring it was to have my own kingdom, to make my own choices, to choose my own sins, not realizing the consequences that were coming. And so that reaping the corruption from my fleshly desires definitely happened in my life and I can see it starting to happen in my friend's life. God, I just pray for them that they will get to see past that veneer that the world shows them all the sparkly, flashy, ego-driven, sexually driven, financially driven opportunities out there. And they will see past what is truly happening and who is truly tempting them with those things. And they will make a decision today to have a new heart, to change their lives, to seek you with everything inside of them. I'm starting to learn what love really is from you, God. Loving others better than ourselves. Wanting better for other people. And God, for my friends who are still sowing and thus reaping what they're choosing of the flesh. God, I just pray that you come into their lives. That you provide people and opportunities for them to see your wondrous world and the incredible relationship that they could potentially have with you and God if myself or the people listening to the video today are those people that are supposed to be in those people's lives then send them allow them to see those opportunities and give them strength not a spirit of timidity but strength to talk to others about you God my heart truly breaks for people who continue to choose to choose their flesh the desires of their flesh over what you have willed for us your way will always be better than our way god thank you for your mercy for my friends in your son's name i pray amen <laughs>